I'm just going to mention annealing. So annealing is a process of softening up the metal that makes it more malleable and that makes it easier to form into a ring or to any shape that you want to form it into. It's really, really important that you anneal your silver or your gold or even your copper before you try and form it because as you're hammering it and you're forming it, it pushes the particles together and makes it really hard and difficult to work with. So I often get asked, how do I know when something's annealed? So with annealing, you don't want to take it to the same temperature that you get with soldering. So it's a stage before. So I'll just show you on this little piece of silver wire what annealing is. Now, unlike sil soldering, I don't want the sharpest flame. I want to adjust the nozzle on the front of my torch and I just want to have it so that the flame is slightly softer. So I'm allowing a little less oxygen through. So if you see the hole there, you can see that the, it's slightly closed, which means that the flame is a little softer and a little fluffier. Now I bring that to my piece of silver and I still put the bright blue part on my silver but I brush the silver with that torch, making sure that the bright blue part is touching. If I have it too far away, again, that's not going to do what I need and it can also cause fire stain. So bring your flame onto it and you can start to see the changing in colors and also where the flame is actually hitting the silver. At that point where you can see it moving, you start to see a slight orange glow underneath the surface of the metal. It's almost like a light, very, very light tangerine color. Once you see that, you can take your heat away and you know that it's annealed. If you are working with your piece of silver and you've worked with, you're annealing it several times, the more you work with it, the less you see those color changes. It actually becomes more white and frosty and you have to, you, your only clue is that orange glow underneath the surface of the metal. But what you don't want is a bright orange glow veering into red because we're going into soldering and melting territory there. Once you've annealed your piece, you can pickle it to clean off all the black oxides. But I just want to show you how effective annealing actually is. I'm going to form this piece of wire into a ring and I'm using some D-shaped pliers. And because I've annealed it, it makes it super soft and malleable. If I hadn't annealed it, that would have been much, much tougher to do. So it's really essential to anneal before forming anything, especially if you find that your hand strength isn't quite uh, as you need it to be. Annealing is one of the most important stages in working with metal.